We want revolution. Look, Marklitz, on standby. Log online. Sam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast, your new source for information regarding Mafia Wars from Zynga. Um, Pistol Pete from Spockholm. Live long and prosper. And tonight I have with me Mig Chainsaw Chester, Jana Mig Death by Gucci, and Jennifer the Mafia Wars Loot Lady. Alrighty then. So, what's going on, everybody? Not a whole lot. How about yourself? Getting ready for the mock. Yeah, we are. Getting ready for the mock. Yeah, it's getting ugly. Those are always fun. It is going to be ugly. It's going to be a, a massacre. Uh, yeah, the you men are going to be slaughtered. It's going to be ugly. I don't know right now. You better you better step up and recruit. Cause... I'm recruiting actively right now as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> like, how, Are there more girls than guys that registered? Or no, like, there's way no. more guys than no girls guys. that registered. Uh, way too much testosterone. So no fake, <laughs> no fake girls tried to sign up? Uh. Other That's than true. just one that I know of, but other the, than that. Yeah, the problem is, Jenna, you and me might be the only real girls and all the rest of <laughs> No, there's a lot of girls that I do I know. know are female that'll be there. Just, but there is a little bit too much testosterone. So so call your friends, call your girlies. Well, wouldn't it be funny if we beat them anyways? We will. I mean, that's the funny yeah. thing. Is it only takes funny. a couple women to beat <laughs> That'd be darn the embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes a couple to bring down the men. And I'm not concerned. Yeah, we'll be fine. Especially some yeah. of us. We've got <laughs> such low stats. It wouldn't be surprising. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. Yeah. I'm excited. Jen, you're going to play, right? Yes. Okay. I just get busy on the weekends. Like, I'm not home and online a lot. I'm going to be a thorn in your side. Jen, get online. Well, hopefully there won't be a lot of updates to write about. Hopefully that all happened today. You can do yeah, that. Yeah, there was a lot today. There was a lot going on today. Fuck home, what's going on? Uh, well, we've just been busy getting geared up for the War Machine part due. So that's been time consuming. But it's really come a long way. We've got a lot of really neat features in it this time. We talked about a couple of things on the last show where uh, when you attack the color coding, which was in the previous one, but now we made some subtle changes where if you attack once and the person's still alive, then it'll just shade the color green slightly so you know that they're still alive and you can still attack. Oh, sweet. Shades of green. Shades of green. I yeah. love it. So for all the colorblind folks, we'll probably have some issues. And then, um, you know, obviously... Most men are colorblind, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> so sure. Probably yeah. so. <laughs> and have prostate cancer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Good God. I'm talking about Deb, Debbie true. Downer. Yeah. <laughs> Turning cough. <laughs> well, they say you never die of prostate cancer. You die with it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Okay. What's, what do you got in obituaries? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the wrong podcast. Let's go. Yeah, wow. Okay, so then the other thing that's in there is now it has uh, ice cubes for the different types of icing. So if you've normally cleaned ice a person, it'll be a blue cube. If it's a red ice, it shows up as a red cube. And then if you've killed a person, it shows up as a tombstone. And then it still maintains the color coding of whether or not you won or lost against the person with either the red or blue. But some of the other big things that we've added in this one, we've got the capability now to get right to the manual lists, right out of the bookmarklet. We also have a healing function that does a one-time heal. It's not yes. an auto heal, but it's if you're, you need to heal quick, you can click the little uh, heart in the top right-hand corner of the bookmarklet, and it'll go out, and if it actually heals you, the bookmarklet will start uh, flashing a heart, almost like a beating heart. kind of. Does a, that heal you wherever you're at? It or? heals you in New York. Okay, cool. So we'll spend your New York money, because most of us have a buttload of New York money. You can quick link out to the leaderboard off there and we've got some really cool stats on the leaderboard now because we've also now added a graph that shows the ices and the kills by team 
as a pie chart. So oh, nice. now you can actually monitor who's winning the war as the war is going on via that page. Ooh, I love and it. then the usual stats we had in the past on the leaderboard. So the most ices, most kills, the people that were iced the most, the people that were killed the most, some of the fun stuff like that. And then uh, the last one, which is a nice touch too, we think, is now you can actually see the um, a listing of all your ices or kills um, so you can so if you've if you've got the war machine open which we were encouraging for the mock and you run it while you're you know knocking people off all the ladies and then oh, whatever uh, <laughs> <laughs> carry and on then, yeah and then what happens is um, it'll store all those in the database so that that adds to the stats talked about on the leaderboard but now you can actually click a button and it'll take you out to a page that lets you see all your ices and so you can actually cut and paste them off of a listing page and paste them all in one shot somewhere else you actually now have the capability to go see all your individual ices and kills all from one page. So we nice. think that's kind of nice. And it does, and we, we now have the tallies too, that it shows your current ices and your current kills in the bookmarklet itself on launch and then as the, as the war is going on. So that's also there now too. And then I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that's... I, I know something you forgot. What's that? Ike added this to, um, it's a script he's been working on, the oh, updates. Oh, player updates, yes. Yeah, I helped yeah. him test those out. Yeah, the other one that is a utility that Ike wrote that's called player updates, and what it does is it runs in the background, and then it, it captures up your, um, well, actually your player updates. And so while you're fighting in a war, it'll keep track of the stuff of people that have robbed you, people that have fought against you, and so on. And you can open that up at any given moment and then, you know, kind of review that data so you don't have to go hunting for it elsewhere. You can get it all in one nice little spocklet. The other it's real time, too. Yeah. That's oh, sweet. Unlike okay. Zangus. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other really interesting thing that happened this past past week was uh, we've actually gotten three terms listed in the Urban Dictionary for Spock. So we've got, um, I got uh, Bookmarklet, which I was really surprised to see wasn't in the Urban Dictionary, has been registered and uh, attributed to Pistol Pete of Spock Home, and then yeah. Spocklet, and then Spock On. So if you get bored sometime and you want to go look up and see what, how we've uh, classified those they are actually now published in the urban dictionary so we thought that was kind of interesting and fun that's do awesome. you feel famous so, now so, no so now we're official congratulations <laughs> so so what's going on in your blog this week oh lots of stuff um most of this we already know um today italy loot became giftable which was really cool because a few days ago they made an announcement on get satisfaction and said it would be squeezed into the updates within the next few weeks. So nobody was really expecting it. So all of a sudden, like around five o'clock in the evening, it became giftable. So it will be interesting to see if there's any spikes in the daily active player numbers. You know, if people are booting up their energy account, the, the bad news is the drop rates are just horrid. So mm -hmm. it's not like you're going to get 500 overnight, but this will also give um, a stimulus to the trading market and right. the gifting sites like pay it forward. You know, when there's nothing people need anymore, it kind of dries up the action. So I'm really happy for all those people that will now have stuff to do. And I, I think overall people are excited. The only people who aren't happy about this are people that actually got all that loot on their own. Mm -hmm. So now they feel slighted, like all their hard work was for nothing. But you can't have a game with nothing tradable because then it kills certain markets and people lose interest and leave the game. Exactly. So I'm happy with it. We got new crates today. I don't know if people really get into those. I kind of don't, but collectors like them. And Anything the, good inside? Yeah, the stats are pretty high on all the items. The uncommon and rare items have really good stats. But And they, they started off on sale, which is unusual. But they're called um, ta seized tax crates. So maybe they're hoping people buy them with their tax refund money. And we still have crack the safe issues. Um, 
I don't know how many days this thing has been out now and a lot of players still don't have it and they're getting tired of seeing people that do have it brag about all this great loot. Um, I just got it yesterday. And if you really systematically accept your invites and send them out a few at a time, it will be possible to do this a hundred times, which is the limit. I know one person hit the limit today and it, and it says that you can't do it anymore. How long had they had it? Um, I'm not sure. It, That's I think pretty it was, fast. Yeah, I think it was like April 4th. You can do it really fast. I know I'm like a big chunk of the way through. Right. What, what you have to do is, you know, send out a bunch of friend requests, accept a bunch, try not to send out like too many of your own or you'll get banned by Facebook for like two days. But well, you know you, what my problem is, is that what? when I go to hit ask, um, nothing, nobody comes up to invite. And so when I've added new people, they're still not showing up in that list. So that's well, you the should, problem. Yeah, you shouldn't even use that list. What you need to do is go to your current friend request and accept them all. And don't send invites. Let people send them to you. And when you send them, only send like five at a time or ten at a time. Because it's going to count if someone accepts your invite or if you accept one. But it will only count for five until you collect your reward and then refresh the game. Oh. So if you go ahead and accept 50 Mafia War invites, you're only going to get credit for one. you got to do them one at a time. Okay, that makes sense. And you have to keep up with it and you have to refresh the page. And it's important to do that because if somebody accepts your invite, why you still have an uncollected item, you're not going to get credit. You need that invite page on your homepage. Okay. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it does. So I just wondered what was happening because I added people and then I still didn't get credit. That's right. You had, it has to be five at a time. Anything after the five in an unrefreshed game will not count. Okay. The other thing to consider is that on your My Mafia page, they have that view recently sent requests. There's right. probably a lot of people on there that you could actually remove and go back and resubmit requests to them. They've never answered for whatever reason. I found I had like 69 people on that list that I just went ahead and removed each one, and then those were now people that I could send you know, new invites to. And I've gotten some that have already started to respond back from it, so they're obviously active players that just never saw my initial you know, request. Pete, I have people on that list that from the very beginning, like a year and a half ago, I can, they can't add me to their mafia and I can't add them. It's really weird. Yeah, and that's why I thought maybe if you actually remove the request, then reprocess it if it works now. Yeah, I I've, have. I've I'll had try people it again. there that have been there forever. Hey, Jen, yeah. have they talked about how long the Crack the Safe is going to be around for? No, and the 411 page came out, and it's like it's wrong. The whole page, the way the event's set up, it doesn't jive. And um, last time I checked, they haven't updated it, but one of the questions asks when will it end. And they say there's no set time yet. Good, at least for those people that got it so late. I just got mine today. Ah. So. Yes. Well, I imagine it will at least need to be out as long as however many days it took for everybody to get it. Yeah. I know, gosh, I think it was April 4th it came out. or No, wow. April 7th. Has it been that long? So it's been six days now. Ah, well, I can see why so, people are getting irritated. I was sick oh, hearing I know. about it. Every time I post something about it, I, there's like, you know, 10 comments. I don't have this yet. Like as if you can just turn it on for them. Yeah. And the 411 page says there's like four steps you have to do and you get a loot item with each step. And then the monofin is the mastery item. Well, none of that's what we see in game. Um, so far, I've got one of the five loot items about the same number of times. Oh, so goodness. it's purely random, and all you have to do is accept the five friends, or five Mafia War members. Hmm. So I don't know if they, I don't know why theirs is so different than what it is. But I can relate. I mean, I know I've written stuff for the Mafia Wars blog, and it doesn't kind of, it's not the same when it's actually in the game. So, oh, and we got a new mission. The yes. The time missions. But it really has crappy loot. Everyone's mad, like. You know, you want us to do all this for the mastery item? What's it, invade the Coast Guard or something it's like that? It's called one of our own. Oh, one of our own. Oh, okay. Well, some of the mission loot on other missions have been a lot better than what I was I getting. Know. Yeah. I am getting better loot right now. Not on this one, you won't. Are you thinking of operations? Oh, gosh, I still get that mixed <laughs> up. You're right. Operations. Yeah. 
yeah, the, it's a limited time mission is what's new. And there are new, ma um, new operations, but I think we talked about those on the last show. Mm -hmm. Right. So this new operation, you get a lot of Las Vegas giftable loot. 